There it is running in high elk court mode. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, stick around. This is what we do. We burn things. We make stuff to burn other things. But right, here she comes with a good shot of oil. Just a quick shot. She's about to get big. So yeah, stick around for the video, man. We made some huge improvements on this burner. Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna make some improvements on this burner today and see if we can't get this thing installed in my outdoor boiler, which is also homemade, if you haven't watched that video. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna punch a hole in the burner. Uh, I had to go buy a few pieces. Ended up buying, uh, this is from the no weld waste oil burner. Uh, where we use the paint can and off the shelf fittings. So what I did was yesterday I went and bought some more pipe. I bought a three inch, a four inch, a two inch, and then I bought a union and two nineties. And then we're just going to use the rest of it the way it was and see how that goes. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get to it here and I'll bring you back once I get that hole punched in the side. It's going to get welded to the side of the burner where it's reclaiming that heat and hopefully that'll pre-charge you know the air with some heat and get this oil warmed up before it even gets into the chamber so i'll do that and then i'll show you what the burner looks like when this is all welded together all right well we got it welded up um i just kind of centered it in the middle of the burn chamber with the old icrometer i don't generally measure anything so it's close enough um anyway so it's all made out of the one inch pipe that we used in the no weld burner but this one i had to do some welding on now this flap i ended up closing that and welding it shut uh i was been testing and testing off camera since i made that last video and i just couldn't get this thing to light I mean, it would light, but it would take forever to get rolling, and I need it to light quicker and easier than that. So I use the union here so we can get, ooh, it's all hot. I do that every time, don't I, guys? But anyways, that's so we can take it apart. It's too hot to hold. <laughs> that's so we can take it apart to pull this right out of there and clean the chamber because inevitably it's going to need to be cleaned. So just wanted to make that, you know, able to come apart so we could get that whole assembly out of there and knock that thing out and get it cleaned out and put her back in and light it so i'm going to do a test burn on the floor here i originally was going to mount it in my boiler today but i i'm going to do some testing before i put it in there because i don't want to put it in there and have it go out overnight because i run my boiler 24 7 so and i count on it for heat so what i'm going to do is uh that's kind of what it looks like what I'm going to do is set it down on the ground here and do a test fire. So we'll see if uh, this heat reclaim and preheating the oil makes a difference in a quicker light or a better burn. If we can adjust it up and down, I'll run the router speed control on it. You know, and if, if I don't get the results I'm after, I might pull this back out and drill a few more holes and just see if that makes a difference. You know, it's all just testing and Trial and error is the only way to get what you're after. So I'll bring you back when I'm ready to do that, and we'll see you in a minute. It'll be a second for you, but a few minutes for me. All right, we're going to light this thing in real time here for you. Get some oil going. And I'm just using my uh, ultra high-tech gravity feed set up here from a five-gallon bucket. <laughs> I've showed it many times. It's not fancy, but it's functional, and that's all that matters. So I'm going to let that oil run through there for a minute. I'm going to just attempt to light this with paper towel again. You know, that way nobody has to spend money on diesel. And I'll be running on the small blower, and we'll see what happens. Oil's not quite getting there just yet, so we'll give it a few minutes. Uh, and I got my safety sandals on for those of you that missed them. 
<laughs> Quite a few comments. <laughs> I don't know. It's just how I like to work for some reason. I'm normally in pajama pants too, but everyone thinks I go to Walmart then. All right, we got some oil coming through now. Oh, I'll get this down in here and try and get some oil on that old paper towel there. Yeah, she's coming through real nice. So We're already ahead of the game as far as I'm concerned. Oop. It wasn't ready. I don't have the blower on yet. I'll plug that in just a second here. Get some more paper towel in there. Now this paper towel will probably blow right out as usual, but that's all right. gonna make a mess every now and again I just happen to be a expert at making a mess so all right well that paper towel is burning so we'll go ahead and plug the blower in now I'm hoping this is gonna make it way easier to light but who knows I've been wrong before we'll see if that just takes right off or I'm gonna bring you in a little closer Get a better angle here. It appears to be lighting right up. We actually got some blue flame down in there. Now that would be the ultimate goal if I could make a high output blue flame burner. I'm going to keep working on that. Um, I just haven't been able to get high output out of the blue flame no matter what I do. I know there's a way, so... I'll find it. It's a matter of how long it takes me to get there, you know. So we've got oil going in there at a pretty decent drip. And it looks like it's taken off. Certainly lighting better than the other design. Now, the main problem with that design was uh, it cooled the chamber down so fast. It didn't even have a chance to get hot until, you know, it took like 10, 15 minutes to get that thing rolling. So let's see uh, how this goes. It looks like it's already doing way better than the last design. So and I'm really liking seeing that blue flame down in there too. So I'm not sure if you guys can see it on the camera, but I'm just going to let it go real time so you can see, you know, how quick this one lights versus or if it lights quicker, I don't know. Again, the thing with these oil burners, you know, just when you think you know what you're doing, you figure out you don't. <laughs> That's pretty much what happened in that last video. And this is running on waste motor oil this time too, because I'm never gonna be able to use waste vegetable oil unless I was burning indoors, which I don't normally do. So that's just not an option for me. It's way too cold here in Michigan. I set it in the back room, which only gets down to about 50 degrees because it's not heated. I mean, it is kind of, but, and it turned solid white. So that tells me it could never work outside for me. And I don't want to spend the energy heating it, you know, to keep it liquid. So, oh, it appears to be taking off pretty good. And I haven't seen any smoke at all yet. So that's real good. Again, I'll just show you my ultra high tech gravity feed system just a five gallon bucket and an old funnel and an old two liter bottle which i actually shrunk it shrinks like shrink wrap i didn't know that until i got a little too close with the burner one time and it started shrinking so i took the heat gun and shrunk it right around there and it works it's sealed you can fill that thing right to the cap and it doesn't leak so well that appears to be working awesome we got a good good amount of oil in there. Possibly too much. I got it dripping pretty quick here. Not sure if this one's going to be... Uh, so far, it seems like it'll be way more efficient. But efficiency and heat output don't really go together. 
it's either ultra efficient and doesn't make much heat and doesn't use much oil or it makes a ton of heat and it burns a ton of oil so there's there's a direct relation there I haven't been able to achieve uh, over unity so to say which would be you know I put a liter or whatever a quarter a quart however you measure and get you know a gallon's worth of heat out of it it's just not possible so yeah that appears to be taken right off and again no smoke man I'm super happy with this nozzle design now I hope once it gets hotter and hotter it'll uh, start you know making a bigger flame here it's already pretty good size though it's got me sweating standing by it it's putting out some heat doesn't look like much but we'll let her get rolling here and uh, like I said I might even actually try drilling some more holes around the top to see if we can uh, I don't know get blue flame all the way around I don't know everybody's obsessed with the blue flame I was at first too but then I realized you don't need it um, these yellow flame or orange flame burners put out a ton of heat so the only reason you would need a blue flame burner would be if you were using it like to cook or something along those lines you know where you don't need a whole bunch of heat and then they're a little more controllable I guess but now I've got that oil just barely dripping I'm not sure if you guys can see down in there very well or not, but she's burning real good. Now this burn nozzle I built in the uh, no weld waste oil burner, Ace Hardware Special. And that video has got like 22 or 23,000 views, so I'm sure you've seen it. <laughs> so that's how we built the nozzle head. And the only thing I changed was this piece here instead of being that long piece that I hooked to the airline before I just put that three inch pipe in there and a 90 down to a four inch long one inch pipe to that coupling right here and that's so we can take it apart to clean it out because you're going to have to I mean and if you try and clean it out with everything in the way it's a real pain in the butt but yeah she's taking right off man it's burning nice. I think I'm going to actually uh, shut her down and put a uh, few more holes in the top of that pipe and see if we can't get blue flame perfection. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna do that and then I'll bring you back and relight it. Alright, well, we got her dialed in now. I'm running on the bounce house blower. Um, but what I ended up doing, I left those 16 holes that we drilled, the small ones, and then uh, ended up welding the eight holes just below that shot. And it seems to run really good, super controllable. You can see the chamber's blowing, even though that air is trying its best to cool it down, it still can't keep up. This thing's hot. Now, I know there's no big old flame shooting out of it, but uh, I just want to show you how hot this thing is. Grab a pop can here and just show you how fast this thing disappears. Going in. Bring you above here. You can see that pop can somewhere in that area. It's already disappearing. It's pretty much a thing of the past, and I don't want to keep my camera here very long because this thing is hot, boy. But yeah. It's pretty much melted and gone already. I mean, that fast. And there's not that much flame going on in there. But it is hot. 
So yeah, I'm gonna end up putting this in the boiler and uh, we'll do some long-term testing on it and see how it goes. So I'm gonna turn the fuel up just a little bit here and just show you how controllable it is. I'm gonna move my camera back first and get to a little different angle here because the flames are gonna get big. But it can go low and slow, it can really go big. I'm barely turning this fuel up. It was basically running on about a human hair thickness. Now it's, you know, a good number two pencil thickness coming at it now here. So in a few seconds, she's going to shoot right up, probably to about here. Woo, that's hot. But yeah, I'm sweating testing this thing. It definitely works amazing. So oil's getting to it now, so it should start coming up real soon. You can hear it getting angry. <laughs> And here she comes. It's got some smoke coming off the outside. Just because I spilled a bunch of oil. Like I always do. <laughs> but no smoke coming off there. And she'll make some huge flames, I mean. And you can see that chamber is getting even hotter. So, yeah, I'm going to... Definitely put this in my boiler and do some long-term testing. So, thanks a lot for watching. Um, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. You know, it sure helps the channel out. I don't do this for a living, but who knows, man. If it goes well enough, maybe I will. But I turned the oil back down because it's just too dang hot in here. <laughs> so you can see it's calming right back down. But it doesn't take much to run this burner at all, and it runs hot. So I'm very happy. All right, have a great day, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.